Hello, let's do another before work review. And this one has to do with the movie The Exorcist and the brand new <clears throat> 4K copy of it. So, let's get into the Blu-ray copy, which is this little book slash DVD holder. This one was really good. Lots of special features. Let's get it back in its little case. Anyway, <clears throat> great purchase, excellent quality, lots of extra stuff. Okay, and just to make the video interesting and unlike any of the other reviews of the new 4K release for this movie. I thought I'd show this little monito. It's called Regan the Spider Walk. And it's a little, I don't know, action figure doll of... I don't know what... She's doing the back bend. There you go. Alright, here's another one. This one, um, she's in a bed. And I never take, I've never taken this out of the box. It's still sealed up, so I don't know what it does, but it says the head spins around, something like that. Anyway, there you go. Little kid in a bed. Okay, this is my copy, and I'm proud of this. There's, excuse me, there's probably only one of these in the world, and this is the soundtrack to Cruisin'. It's autographed by... William Friedkin, and he, <clears throat> as I've mentioned before, the germs have one song on this thing, Lion's Share, and it's a good one. And I had him autograph it, rest in peace, Darby Crash. So this is my Darby Crash, um, William Friedkin autograph copy of this album. It also has an autograph right here from a guy who played in one of the bands on this soundtrack. Forgot which one. All right, let's make some room. Oh, and here's the record, Lomar Records. All right, here's a new version of the Exorcist soundtrack, and it's autographed by the dude. And that's what the inside looks like, backside. Okay, this is what the disco looks like. I had to stand in line in Hollywood, California, a long time to get this because it was part of this um, in-store signing thing. So I stood in line to get this, and then I waited to stand in line some more so that I could go to the store and have him autograph my album. Here's the original copy of the vinyl soundtrack to The Exorcist, courtesy of Warner Brothers Records. All right, here's The Exorcist 2, The Heretic. Found this at a second-hand store. The movie, I guess, is not so good. I <clears throat> don't really remember it, but this soundtrack is really good. That's a great soundtrack. And there's the Warner Brothers Records disco, and here's the brand-new version of it. Are the repressing and it's very green am I ever gonna get to what this is about which is the review of the 4k yes I am but anyway here's a blu-ray of the Exorcist 3 the Exorcist 3 is a very very good movie it's got George C Scott and his performance cannot be believed just makes you happy to watch him. Okay, here we are. This is the 4K from Best Buy. And as you can tell, this, or as you can assume, this probably, <clears throat> or you're probably assuming that this thing looks great. It sounds great too. And it does. Sounds and looks much better than this, if you can imagine that. But what's special about this thing is there's two discs. Both of, both of the discs are 4K. And one is gold and one is black. Uh, the gold one is in my 
DVD player at the moment. And that's the extended version, and the only special feature on that is William Fried can talk in throughout the movie, and then that's it. There's no other special features with the new release of The Exorcist. Then, there's this. The Black Disc. This is the theatrical run of it, which, you know, so. And this thing has the white, the writer, um, William, what is it, William Blad, Blatty? Yeah, William Blatty. And he does a little talking throughout, like, the first half of the movie. And then he stops talking. And then there's a pause in it. And then it goes into this audio, which is <clears throat> Linda Blair saying the lines um, from when she's tied up in the bed. And then, like, she'll say one line. And then the other actress who did the lines, but like in the demon scary voice, she'll say the same thing. But... <clears throat> She doesn't continue. It's kind of strange. It's like Linda Blair says something, <clears throat> and then the creepy girl repeats it in her creepy voice, and they go back and forth and back and forth with lines. Um, it's really funny to hear Linda Blair say those lines, because what you hear in the movie, <clears throat> it's Linda Blair's mouth moving, <clears throat> but it's this other lady talking. So to hear her say those things, it's very entertaining. And then it gets worse. It, it's the actress that does the creepy voice. It's like she's getting, she's kind of amping herself up to deliver these lines. So, I don't know, for five minutes, maybe ten. I, I didn't time it, but she's just making all these very, very disturbing noises. They're not even words. She's grunting and growling and... Excuse me. Like I said, I just got up. Anyway, you gotta, you gotta hear it to believe it. That is the standout of this. I mean, the, the picture quality is great and all that. And I'm sure the other reviewers, that's all they're going to concentrate on. I'm concentrating on <clears throat> the 10 minutes of audio on the black disc. And that actress, wow. Like I said, if you pick this up, put in the black disc, um, take it over to, I guess, writer commentary. Yeah, it's, it, there's only one special feature on this, and that's the writer commentary. Put it on that. <clears throat> Be patient. Listen to him talk. Um, what he talks about is really not important and then halfway through he's going to stop talking and then you'll hear it unbelievable anyway <clears throat> the copy that you can pick up in stores and off of amazon the cover will look like that you're not going to get this cover but just because it's not this cover doesn't mean that this black disc is any different. It's, it's just my cover. I, I pre-ordered this from Best Buy, so I got the creepy cover, but barring that, the 4Ks are all the same. Although, uh, one cover is a lot better than the other. Okay, it's time to end this. <clears throat> I got lunch cooking. I got to go to work to earn money to buy more nonsense. <laughs>